Welcome back to Bottom Line Up Front, the YouTube channel where we travel and go on adventures and tell you about it in the first 60 seconds or less of the video. We have a very quick video for you today. We are at the White Cliffs of Dover in the UK. They're very pretty. It's completely worth your time. It's only five pounds to park and then you can stroll on all about the cliffs and look at the pretty views and get really close to the edge. Actually, it's quite thrilling and I'm sure partially dangerous because guess what? The cliffs are made of a very weak substance that we'll tell you about in this video and pieces could fall off at any moment. Anyway, two hours to go to the lighthouse and back round trip. It's definitely worth it. of Dover, the White Cliffs of Dover, not to be confused with Dover, Delaware, we're at the original Dover, and my zipper is stuck. Fixed it. We went through the visitor center when we got here and we thought there'd be like a big museum with information about the geology and history. Uh, not so much. So we're on our phones and we're looking up the White Cliffs of Dover to find out what's the deal, how they form. These cliffs are white because they're made of chalk, guys. Chalk, like the stuff you write on chalkboards with. So hundreds of millions of years ago, all of this was below the ocean and tiny little algae, they would die. When the algae would die, it would, it would sink to the very bottom and lay there on the sea floor and then over hundreds of millions of years, more and more algae would, algae would die and then stack up, stack up, and then the pressure of the water plus the algae on top would compress everything and it literally turn it into chalk. And then with plate tectonics, all this got raised up out of the ocean floor, off the sea floor, jutted out into the air, and now, because it's chalk, the water's clawing at it and eroding it at 10 centimeters per year because it's super soft. Embedded in the chalk in the stone, there's flint, uh, flintstone. Not not the cartoon, but like the like you would make to make a spark, like flintstones. Um, it's really smooth, and you can grab them, and they're like you can wiggle them because the chalk's so soft. We're not gonna do that because I don't want all this to come down on top of me. I might get in trouble. Very, very windy at the White Cliffs of Dover. We have two recommendations. Number one, walk all the way to the lighthouse and get a bottle of water to drink because you'll be thirsty. Number two, when you get to the lighthouse where you buy the little bottle of water, ask them about their free kites. Not free to keep, but free to fly. The little nice lady kept telling us, don't forget, you're flying a kite on the White Cliffs of Dover. And she also said five times exactly to Maggie, do not fly it near the flagpole. So don't do that. Tied up. Tied around the top. Yes. Perfect. No way near the flagpole, okay? okay? Thank you. I get to fly a kite. Wherever the wind takes you, that's where you're going. Wherever you are, there you go. <laughs> Is that, what, is that the saying? Wherever you go, there you are. 